Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, it was about 9.30 uh, at night when I wrapped it up. Last night when I did the start of it. And uh, so today I'm gonna move forward with uh, trying to finish up the exhaust and a bunch of odds and ends. And uh, what we have is that's a beetle muffler. That's a bus, bus muffler. And uh, pretty much the, uh, you can kind of see where it started out as a beetle muffler. It would have another one there. So the one that I put on there, I pretty much just cut and welded the end off and um, now I have to try to come off of this with an exhaust. This is what factory would be. It would look like that, kicking off to the side. And um, then a tailpipe kind of going and exiting out from under the bumper. So I just have to come up with that same kind of idea. One thing you'll notice is how shallow that is and how deep these are. So the one that's on there has a, um, it's pretty close to the bumper. As you can see, there's probably only an inch between the bumper and itself. So I'm going to cut that back and see if I can, I can make an, an elbow kind of facing down or, or facing on an angle. If I can get some 45s, that'd probably be my best bet and uh, steer it in the right direction <clears throat> to kick it off and to the side. Uh, I got a new belt for it, stopped squealing, and uh, I want to take that other belt and throw it in to uh, keep one with it anyway, just for uh, uh, security if you break down you have a spare. Uh, it just seems like uh, anything that's modified on them gives you a big pain in the ass because it would have been, if it wasn't for the oil filter, I could have put that, the new system on if it, that pulley was a regular pulley it wouldn't have rubbed on the guard uh the bumpers off a bay window so it's in a slightly different spot so that kind of gets in the way of the exhaust but uh just the nature of the beast so anyway i'm going to keep uh whittling away and i'll start uh seeing what i could find to modify to cut up for the exhaust system i found this old header i had laying around it's got some nice bends to it i might cut that up or i may just try to find something else I think I'm going to go with something like that. Um, the whole idea of changing it over from the other system is because I want to get a trailer hitch on this setup. And uh, that stuff has to be uh, void of the middle, which it is. And uh, just trying to give it somewhat of a stock appearance. But this is the pan that goes in. You can see it's got a, a cutaway for that. And basically it's just two pieces of plumbing that we're going with. That's yeah, kind of dark. And there's the dog alarm. Alright, let's go weld that up and make something out of it. So what I ended up doing was uh, I didn't like the sound that came out of that uh, that chrome little pipe that was on there. So I ended up taking a, a VW one, which has a baffle. Oh, it's hard to see. It's got a baffle built into it. So I took that and I cut it off and I put that on the end, and that gives you that uh, that uh, VW sound. That that little bit about like a ping ping to it. Out. And all the guards are together. It's burning all the crap off of the, uh, the new heater boxes that are on there. And uh, that's it. She's a goer. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. It's all over but the road trip. Riding real nice. Quiet. Everything's doing like it should. Uh, the only other thing I did is I cut the rear brake drums again just to make sure they were true and they look like they were okay. And uh, 
I got a full bolt flasher I got to change and the gas gauge is still to do. And uh, that's it for the necessities. Everything else is just kind of making it look pretty ugly. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribing. Take care. Bye.